All right, all right, man. I'm back again. What's up, man? Killer Tapes 93, your host. Back with another stack of cassettes. <laughs> back with a new hip hop cassette tape dig vid. Let's just get into it, man, because we got we got a stack and about a half left. First up, man, we got extra prolific, like it is supposed, like it's supposed to be. Extra prolific, an MC out of Oakland, California. Uh, once a member of the Almighty Hieroglyphics group, um, went solo like in I don't know the mid '90s sometime. Um, I want to say this might be his fifth or sixth project since he's left Hieroglyphics. Um, this came out this year. Uh, I want to say like maybe February or March. I saw this came out. But um, I think the cassettes that he put out for this were limited to like, I want to say 50. I'm not sure. I could be wrong, but Extra Prolific's back, man, with like it's supposed to be. Um, this is available on CD and vinyl, but went ahead and copped the cassette, man. All black, all black shell. Very glad to have that. Next up, man, we got the Fat Boys, man, with their 1984 debut on Sutra Records. And all this time, man, I didn't know that, um, I did not know that this album is uh, produced by Curtis Blow, man. The Fat Boys, um, rap group out of Brooklyn, New York, of course. Um, the singles from this album were Jailhouse Rap and Can You Feel It? And uh, the three members, in case you don't you don't know, Prince Marky D, Cool Rock Ski, and the Human Beatbox, aka Buffy. He's passed away. R.I.P. R.I.P. Human Beatbox, Buffy. Fat Boy's debut on Sutra Records and Tape. All right, next up, man, we got Heavy D and the Boys with Living Large on Uptown, MCA Records. Um, this was Heavy D and the Boys' debut back in 1987. Um, it had production from Andre Harrell, DJ Eddie F, Teddy Riley, uh, Marley Marl, um, and Heavy D himself. Um, some singles off the album were Mr. Big Stuff, Chunky But Funky, and Don't You Know. And um, they were a crew that was out of Mount Vernon, New York, man. And um, unfortunately, man, R.I.P. Heavy D passed away back in 2011. But keep his name out there, keep his music out there, man. Heavy D and the boys living large. Debut cassette, man. Glad to have that one. All right, man. Next up, we've got Ice T with Ryan Pays. This is Ice T's 1987 debut on Sire Records. Um, I'm not sure if it was fully produced, but I know that um, Africa Islam he either he either did most of the production, if not all. But uh, the singles that came off this album were Six in the Morning, Make It Funky, Somebody Gotta Do It, Pippin' Ain't Easy. And um, Ice-T was an MC out of LA, Los Angeles, California. Ice-T, Ryan Pays, man. Another, another classic. All right, man, next up, let's keep it going. We got Crush Groove, man. The uh, motion picture soundtrack. Um, this was from the 1985 movie Crush Groove. Um, it was released on Warner Brothers Records. Um, and like a soundtrack is basically like a compilation. So it had it had music from let's see, it had music from Shaka Khan, LL Cool J, Curtis Blow. Fat Boys, Sheila E, Beastie Boys, the Gap Band's on here, and um, 
It also has the Force MDs on here. But um, Crush Groove, one of my favorite uh, hip hop movies of all time, man. Music from the original motion picture soundtrack, Crush Groove on Warner Brothers Records. Uh, I can't believe it took me this long to get this because this is one of my favorite hip hop movies, like I said, and the soundtrack, the music on the music on the soundtrack and in the movie is straight fire, man. But uh, Crush Groove soundtrack. Moving on, man, we got Curtis Blow, the best of Curtis Blow on Funk Records. Um, this dropped back in, I'm gonna say 1985, this came out. This compilation of uh, Greatest Hits by Curtis Blow. Um, actually, it's not 1985, man. It's 1980. It's 1994 when this dropped, man. The best of Curtis Blow on Mercury. On Mercury Records, man. And some of the uh, some of the standout singles on here were, of course, you know, The Breaks, um, Christmas Rappin' and AJ Scratch. And uh, Curtis Blow was an MC out of New York, man. Very glad to have this because I don't I don't come across Curtis Blow albums a whole lot. And this kind of has just everything you need from Curtis Blow on it, man. So I was glad to come across that and pick that up. Next up, man, we got Red Man, What the Album. Um, this was Red Man's debut back in 1992. It was on Def Jam Chaos Columbia Records. Um, it is produced by Eric Sermon. Um, it's got production from Red Man himself, Reggie Noble. Um, it's also got production from Pete Rock. I think Pete Rock did one joint on here. Um, of course, Red Man, an MC out of New Jersey. Um, singles from the album were Blow Your Mind, Time for Some Action, um, and Tonight's the Night. And I'm very happy to own this, man, because Red Man is uh, one of my favorites, man. And it's long overdue to have this cassette in the cassette tape collection, man. Red Man, what the album? All right, let's move it on. Next up, man, we got Sweet Tea with It's Tea Time. Um, let's see, Sweet Tea, she was a uh, female MC, of course, out of Queens, Queens, New York. Um, this was her 1988 debut on Profile Records. And I think she did, uh, I want to say she had maybe three singles off this album. Uh, one of them was I Got the Feeling and On the Smooth Tip. And I don't remember, she, I think she had another one, but I don't remember what it was. But I got this for a buck 99 at Amoeba. I think I got this at Amoeba Hollywood, I can't remember. The last time I went to Amoeba Hollywood earlier this year, man, I scored a bunch of good tapes, man, for cheap. But um, it's Tea Time had production from, I want to say he produced the whole thing, uh, Herbie Lovebug. But no, there also was some production from Toy Jackson, which I'm not too familiar with. But Toy Jackson had some involvement on the production on here as well as Herbie Lovebug. But Sweet Tea, man, it's Tea Time on cassette. Next up, man, we got A Bullet for Every Heathen by 38 Spech and Big Ghost LTD. Um, this was, of course, put out by Dop. There's probably like a hundred of these limited that were made. Um, this came out last year in 2019. Um, I want to say this is Fully produced by Big Ghost and L Big Ghost LTD, although 38 Special gets down on production too. Um, but I think this was fully produced by Big Ghost. I could be wrong, but um, 38 Special, an MC slash producer out of Rochester, New York, and I'm not sure where Big Ghost hails from, man. Uh, I apologize, you have to forgive me for not knowing. But uh, A Bullet for Eddie Heathen 
38 Special and Big Ghost LTD on a very fire cassette right here. Very dope design. All right, let's move on, man. Next up, we got Three Times Dope with original styling. And this was their 1988 debut. They were um, a crew, a, a rap crew out of Philly, Philadelphia. Um, the members were EST, Chuck Nice, and Woody Wood, man. And this is a very, this is a very dope album, man. I consider it a classic. If you can get your hands on it, man, whether it's vinyl, cassette, or CD, or a digital copy, man, go ahead and do it. Caught this one for $2.99, man, at Amoeba. Very happy with that. Next up, man, we got Totally Insane with Going Insane. This was uh, this released back in 1993. It was the group's second project. Um, this was this was the I want this is an OG copy actually. It's on In a Minute Records. Um, it had production from the Enhancer, Stingy, TC, and they were a rap group that was out of EPA, East Palo Alto, California. And this cassette is sealed, man. Totally insane going insane happy to have it next up we got some more totally insane man with backstreet life and this was their third project and it dropped in 1995 on in a minute records as well um there was a production this time on the album by by totally insane themselves um there was also um Premier Music Group also Premier Music Group also produced on this album too. I'm not sure who they consisted of, but they shared in on the uh, production for this one. And it's another uh, totally insane sealed cassette, man. And like I said, they were out of EPA, East Palo Alto, California, man. Totally insane backstreet life. All right, next up, man, we got. A Tribe Called Quest with the Low End Theory. The Low End Theory on Jive Records, man. This dropped back in 1991, and it was the crew's second project. The album where Fife, they took the, they took the reins off Fife and just let him do his thing on this album, man. R.I.P. Fife, by the way, unfortunately. Um, I want to say the production was handled by Q-Tip himself, but I know he had help on this album. Um, I'm going to say Skeff Anselm pitched in on production on this album, man. The singles from the album were, of course, Check the Rhyme, Jazz, We've Got It, um, and Scenario. Who could ever forget Scenario, man? Probably the all-time greatest posse cut in hip hop history. I mean, it's definitely, it's definitely uh, in the mix for, it's definitely on the list in the conversation for greatest posse cut of all time scenario. And of course, man, uh, A Tribe Called Quest was out of uh, St. Albans, Queens. And I absolutely love this album, man. And I'm very blessed to have it in the cassette tape collection now. The Low End Theory. Next up, man, we got some more. Some more Tribe Called Quest with the Love Movement. Um, the album dropped back in 1998. Um, it was their fifth project on Jive. Um, I want to say it had production from the UMA and another producer called Bay Lloyd. Um, the singles were Find A Way and Like It Like That, man. And I don't remember where I got this cassette, but I got it used and it's in pretty good condition. And this is probably the least most liked a Tribe Called Quest album. I always felt like it had joints worthy, you know, 
had joints worthy of being in the collection, of course, Tribe Called Quest, man. But um, glad to have it in the collection, man. Tribe Called Quest, the love movement. All right, man, and last up, man, we've got West Side Gun with Hitler Wears Hermes 7. And this released back in 2019 on Doc. And I'm going to say these are limited to maybe 100, 150. Um, Dop always doing like uh, like an amazing job with the design of their cassettes, as you can see here. Um, of course, West Side Gun, an MC out of Buffalo, New York. Um, Hitler Wears Hermes has, has, has production from The Alchemist. Static Selecta and of course Derringer man and of course just another dope entry into the Hitler series and I'm very blessed to have it man because these DOP releases are just so rare and it's just so hard to come by man I mean the day they go on sale the fucking DOP site just blows up, freezes, whatever you want to call it, man, but I've, I've been blessed to come through on these on these DOP releases in the past couple of years, man, and I'm, and I'm actually absolutely thankful for it. So, that's gonna do it, man. I got, like, about a half stack left, but I'm gonna try to get a video before out soon. Until then, um, I, I appreciate you guys watching the videos. I, I appreciate you guys commenting. I have fun doing this. I hope you guys have fun watching them. I hope you guys have fun commenting. I'm always down for hip hop conversation, man. And I uh, just want to say thank you guys for uh, for your. Uh, just want to say thank you guys for your time and attention, really. Till next time, man. It's been your host, Killer Tapes Nine Three. See ya.